Hey, good morning, guys. What's going on? Well, let me tell you what's going on here in Central Texas, USA. This is Rusty78609 at 9.07 a.m. Central Standard Time on Park Road 4. It is 37 degrees and the wind is blowing out of the north about 20 miles an hour. Uh, it's kind of an overcast. It's got a little, we got a little sunlight every now and then, but baby it's cold outside and i'm telling you it is cold i'm cruising along at 48 miles an hour in my prius I, it probably ain't much above 37 degrees in here i just got in it but anyway i got you know you always want to see the man behind the microphone right kind of like rush limbaugh you always hear his voice but you never get to see his ugly face well, this is me live and in color, and I want you to know I got this thing in, where, I don't remember where I got it. I paid like 20 bucks for it, and it's worth it. It's a downfield jacket, and it's worth it, baby. Anyway, uh, got me some chocolate-covered almonds. See right here? Show you one. That's a chocolate-covered almond. Looks like a moose turd. <laughs> Might be. Never thought of that. Okay, anyway, we're going up over the mountain if I can hang on to this bridge. So, I hope this video gets uploaded. I've been having some problems with YouTube. I've contacted the tech support, and they're, you know, like you, you get emails back and forth sometimes. And, uh, you know, they told me to basically take my phone apart, throw it in the trash, and get another one. And I told them I already had two phones and neither one of them would do the videos. But anyway, miraculously, I left, I just left one and I'm trying to upload all night long. And finally this morning, it decided to upload. So just bear with me until this storm passes. And uh, so it's cold. We got about. Today and tomorrow we're going to be pretty cool. The high today is supposed to be around 40, something, 42, 3. And uh, tomorrow starts to warm up a little bit. And then Saturday and Sunday are in the mid 60s. Not bad. I can live with that. And sunny. I can live with that. I know y'all didn't want to look at my ugly face. Most of y'all wanted to see the road in front of me. I'm punishing you. <laughs> Your oh golly what it is I did a factory reset on my phone <clears throat> and one of the features that was an upgrade on this phone was you could take your finger and swipe the screen and it would turn it around to uh, to the other camera it's got a camera in the front and a camera in the back well with this one since I haven't done that I just realized it this morning you can take your finger and rub the crap out of it, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it was a good play. Let me tell you what. When you do a factory reset on a phone, you got a new phone. That's it. All the settings are gone. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm glad I did it. It's got, it is like a new phone. Because <clears throat> I went in and you know, I got, of course, it, it you know keeps all your contacts and all that stuff and all your uh, apps. You know, everything it just comes back up like a new phone with all your stuff nearly you know you've got a lot of settings you've got to go in and do not a lot but a few and uh, <clears throat> so anyway it's been kind of fun doing that on the phone like I got I played like I got a new phone and uh, anyway we'll see I hope I get these videos going on a regular basis again even though I don't have a, anything great to do I'm not gonna be taking a trip for a while as far as going and looking at RVs I don't know maybe somewhere somewhere don't know if I run across something interesting to do I'll do it if I don't you get this <laughs> you get me oh what can I say well, I'll tell you what I was going to tell you for those of you that own hybrid automobiles like I do I have a Toyota Prius 2013 
And uh, oh, also a quick advertisement. <clears throat> After these messages, I'll be right back. <clears throat> My channel is Rusty78609. I full time RV. I have done it for 20 plus years and also go camping in a car. So, for those of you that are interested in RVing or car camping, van camping, or whatever, uh, check out my playlist on my homepage. I've got one for full time RVing and one for, or two actually, for camping in a Prius or basically a car. You know, what, camping in a Prius is the same as camping in any other car. You got to take the same stuff. Pretty interesting, mate. Got some neat tips, may save you some problems, who knows. But anyway. Now that I'm back from the advertisement, <clears throat> uh, I know I'm bundled up, are I? <laughs> I'm warm too, damn it. Uh, what I was going to tell you was that hybrid cars, my Prius is a hybrid, of course, 2013. Cold weather <clears throat> is a downer because what cold weather does, uh, the batteries are, you know, batteries don't work good in really cold weather. They don't. And they don't work really well in extremely hot weather, you know, like over 100 degrees, like out in Phoenix and some parts of Texas where I live for a few days. Uh, you know, there's kind of a tolerance that they work really good in. And uh, so right now, my gas, in the, in the winter from like January, no, the cold weather days, my mileage drops from 54 to about 50 even. I know that's still good. But that's about a 10% drop, not quite, but close. And uh, so it, it just happens. I mean, that's uh, so people that have all electric cars, you know, like the Nissan Leaf, uh, you know, you got to be prepared for that because even though it shows you got a range of 120 miles on a cold day uh, below freezing, particularly, uh, that's going to drop down to 80, I guarantee you. Because <clears throat> you can take batteries that you think are dead. You know, and put them in the oven for a little bit. I mean, I, I don't mean cook them. I mean, you know, like warm them up for a little bit. Uh, they'll have a charge in them then. It won't last too long, but if you're desperate for a battery for a few minutes, it works. I've done it. Mm, chocolate, chocolate covered almond. Good for Igor. Igor like. Igor eats food. Anyway, it is a nice day. I wish y'all could see it. Instead of looking at me, but I can't change the damn camera. Okay, guys, we're, we're getting there. I feel like Mario Andretti sometimes. Driving down this highway, it curves all around and over hills. So, that's the deal on uh, hybrid cars. What else? Not a hell of a lot, guys. The well runs the driest. Can't even think of a good joke. What do you think about the cat kicking day? One guy said shit rolls downhill. True. It sure does. The guy at the bottom always gets it. Always. Particularly in the military. I feel like I'm chewing tobacco or something. But they are good. They're loaded with fat, the almonds. They are good. They're loaded with fat at this time of the year. It helps, even though I eat them all year round. But this is Park Road 4, Central Texas, USA, for you new guys, near Longhorn Cavern State Park and Inks Lake State Park in Texas, USA. It's a beautiful drive. Notice there's no track. Well, you don't can't notice because you don't see the cars. But you've been down it. Some of y'all been down this road with me enough to have it memorized. Not much traffic where I am, folks, and I feel sorry for not. I don't feel sorry for you. Your choice is your choice. But I couldn't live in a city anymore. I couldn't live in a city ever. I did. I lived the biggest city I lived in was San Antonio, Texas. I lived there for about eight years <clears throat> while I was going to college, and a few years after that. And when I was there, I kept saying, "Never again, never again," and I, and I did it. Never again. And I always wanted to live in the hill country when I was married to my wife, so I'll bless all of them. And uh, uh, I did it. I, I did it. It's funny how you can you do. You basically do the things you want to do, period. And if you, I don't know, it's, so, it's like you plug it into your brain and 
you start working towards it subconsciously. <clears throat> there is a theory about that. And I used it years ago. It didn't work too good for me, but you know, if there's if you wanted to acquire like you know, beautiful homes, beautiful cars, and have a big boat and all that, well you would acquire pictures of those things and put them on the wall uh, in your office or wherever you are were most of the time. And uh, as you were sitting there, you would be seeing those things. And somehow that was supposed to be subconsciously motivating you to achieve that level of success so that you could have all that crap. Uh, I did it one time. I had a Cadillac and I had a big house and all that shit. Boy, what a waste. What a total waste of effort. I thought that was so cool. I even had a radio phone in my car. Wow. That was before cell phones. They had radio phones. They were kind of bulky. Basically, it was just a, a like a CB radio or something, or like a highway patrolman radio. You know. It went a pretty good distance. It'd go about, <clears throat> I don't know, 100 miles or so, maybe more, I'm not sure. But the downside of it, everybody in the office of the company you did business with, they were hearing all your conversation, every word. Oh, that's good! Oh, damn. You know, hot tea, or I guess coffee works the same, but on a cold day, damn, it's good stuff. Good stuff. I remember one time I went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin for a seminar. Stayed at the, actually stayed at the university in a dorm for a week or more. I couldn't, it was a long seminar. But anyway, uh, I remember I, uh, they had breakfast in the uh, cafeteria for us. And, uh, and then they'd have lunch. They had three meals a day in the cafeteria during the seminar. And uh, anyway, for lunch and the evening meal, I would always ask for iced tea. And I remember the girls that were waiting on the table said, what the hell is that? You know, they didn't have any iced tea. I don't think they had any ice. And it never occurred to me that that was a cold place to be. And uh, ice was not one of the things you used very often, particularly in a drink. So. They thought I was funny, and they got a kick out of me saying, y'all, they'd say, you guys, and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you guys. And uh, anyway, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with the girls. Fell in love with one of them. Hell, I fell in love with all of them. I don't remember a lot about the seminar. <laughs> had a lot of fun. Oh, you Milwaukee girls. Big chested bed thrashers. <laughs> anyway, here we go down Highway 281. Traffic picks up here. This is a pretty busy highway between, I guess, north and south Texas. Goes all the way down the valley, pretty close. Goes into San Antonio and all points south. So all the snowbirds coming here in the winter time go down this road. Some of them get here late and they spend the night at Walmart up here on the right. You can camp at Walmart for, for free. I did a video on that. And I'm hoping my YouTube upload problem is solved. You know, actually, I would rather have this camera facing the other way so y'all wouldn't see me eating <laughs> and hear me smacking. But these are down home personal videos. I actually look forward to doing these videos. I really do. And it disappoints me a hell of a lot more when I can't video, do a video than any of you subscribers, I promise you. Because I feel like you guys are my family out there, and I ain't got any. Well, I got some, but rarely see them. Damn rarely talk to them. I talk to you guys every day. And some of you talk to me every day through via comments. And speaking of which, on your comments, for those, I'll mention it again, I mentioned it yesterday. If you leave the comments, if you send me an email, that's okay. I don't like it. Makes it a little more difficult. If you if you just leave the comment on the video that you were watching, that's great because then YouTube pulls all those into one spot. And I can not only see the comment, but I can see the video that you were watching and the comment that it was related to. In, a, in, a, in an email, I sometimes I'm going, hmm, 
I wonder what video that was. So, anyway, if you, if you will, just leave the comments on the video page. And if you want to contact me in private, you can leave what's called a message. And that shows up on a separate page. I don't, I don't, and no one else can see that if you leave a message. And I check them, I don't check them often because I don't get many of them. Most of mine are just comment. And um, that's the way I like it. Keep it simple. K I S S. Keep it simple. Stupid. And remember, W I I F M, folks, what's in it for me? Most popular radio station in the world. W I I F M. And here's tea. This is good tea. This is green organic tea. And I make a whole tankard of it. You know what I mean? This is 30 ounces. And these are great. You can get these at Walmart for like 10 bucks. And they work. I mean, they keep stuff cold or hot for a long time. If you don't believe me, this tea's hot. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Good, Igor. Eat. Uh, anyway, I did one about the video I did yesterday was about living in RV parks and stuff, you know, and how much cheaper it could possibly be. May not be, depending on the RV park, because you go to RV resorts and some of them will be whoo, really pricey. But as compared to living in a, you know, rent house or, a, <clears throat> you know, you know, of course, you know, if you, if you get a rent house out in the country like my oldest son's got. You know, he's got nine acres of property, a small home on it, it's a rent house. Oh, hell, that's great. You know, I mean, I love his place. You know, I, I really do. It, it's really neat. And, uh, yeah, just a small home on nine acres of land near a beautiful lake. No kidding. No kidding. And up to that point, he'd been renting houses in the city or living in an apartment. You know, when you live in an apartment, as you guys know, some of you for sure, parking is a damn problem. You know, of course, they assign you a parking spot that's about that wide. You know, you can't, once you get in it, you can't open the door. Sometimes they'll assign you two parking spots per unit, or sometimes they'll give you one under the cover and one out of the cover. You know, they got all kind of gimmick, because it's all about making bucks, and parking space costs money. I just assumed that you didn't have a car. It's all about maximizing profit. That's what this whole world's about, maximizing profit. You know, except we make fun of Africa for being a low-developed country and some of the other countries in the world. I think they're the most brilliant people on Earth. They ain't worried about this shit. Some of them may be, but most of them are out there in a thatched hut doing some kind of dope. We've been enjoying life. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, we're coming into the big city of Marble Falls, Texas. The Highland Lakes area of Tex Central Texas. It's called Highland Lakes area and it's also called the Texas Hill Country. The gasoline price today is a buck eighty-four point nine. Whenever they use that point nine 99.9. .9. That point nine is what they call Jew pricing. Because the Jews figured out that you won't think about that nine tenths of a cent. And that you know you'll pay ninety-nine dollars, but you won't pay a hundred. <laughs> figured that out too. Anyway, enough said. I'm here at Lowe's to go walking and I'm on schedule pretty close. About 9.26 a.m. And here I go. Anyway, guys, this has been a very exciting video. Another one of my viral videos. God, I tell you, I dominate. No, that's probably why they don't let me upload anymore. Is because I uh, hit these viral videos and takes up all their space, all their computer space. That's it. I know that's it. It's conspiracy against my viral videos. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Thumbs, I was trying to put my thumb up. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Do the best you can. Take deep breaths. Drink plenty of water.
exercise, stretch. Anyway, guys, adios. Bye-bye.